And all of these images were taken and presented to Western media in various uh, screenings and through these websites as casualties of Hamas's savagery, that they burned people alive, that they burned entire families alive. And what's absolutely clear and confirmed is that the Israeli military shelled these homes in Kibbutz Be'eri with tanks under orders from the top. If you look at cars which were fleeing the Nova Electronic Music Festival, these cars were completely charred, melted, and many of the bodies that were found inside were also charred. And all of these images were taken and presented to Western media in various uh, screenings and through these websites as casualties of Hamas's savagery. As one kibbutz security coordinator named Tuval Escapa put it, to shell the homes on top of their occupants, even if they were Israeli. And we can go through so many other testimonies produced in Hebrew media, which I synthesized in my report, to show a systematic campaign of friendly fire ordered from the top of the Israeli military to prevent Hamas militants from taking captives into the Gaza Strip. debunked one new claim of rape put on this Hamas Dash Dash massacre site, uh, which shows a naked woman who had been stripped and killed. This was a photograph likely of a Kurdish female fighter that has been online since at least 2022. Rape, gang rape, burning people alive. Tony Blinken, the Secretary of State, testified before the Senate that Hamas cut the feet off of children. There's no basis for any of this. We all recognize the right and indeed the imperative of states to defend themselves against terrorism. That's why we must unequivocally condemn Hamas's barbaric terrorist attack against Israel. Babies riddled with bullets, young people hunted down and gunned down with glee people, young people, beheaded, families burned alive in a final embrace, parents executed in front of their children, children executed in front of their parents. And then you have uh, yeah, Yasmin Porat's testimony. She was a woman who escaped the Nova Music Festival, headed to Kibbutz Be'eri, then was holed up in a home during a hostage standoff. She testified to Israeli public radio that everyone who was killed among the Israelis in that home during the standoff was killed by Israeli special forces in what she called crossfire. Among those who were killed, according to Israeli Channel 12, was a child who Naftali Bennett, Israeli member of Knesset, former prime minister, said was actually burned to death by Hamas. This is conf a confirmed kill by the Israeli military. Uh,